Chris Sewell here, baseball card collector, investor, dealer in that order. Welcome everyone. Hi, Rollers time, although this week we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, I was set up at the Chantilly card show last weekend and a viewer of the channel came up, uh, his name was David, he came up to me and just said hello and we, we started chatting for a while and he had some of his collection with him that he wanted to, to share with me and I, I was taking a look and I was like, wow, this is really amazing stuff. Uh, why don't I make a high roller video out of it? And he said, yeah, that would be great. So uh, we're going to go through the, he had something like 20 cards or so. Uh, we're going to go through them one by one. It's mainly vintage baseball, a little bit of vintage football, although there's some modern at the end uh, and just a lot of great stuff. And we'll, you know, discuss uh, values and, and pop counts along the way. So I don't have these in any particular order, but first card here is 1977 Tops Pete Rose, created a PSA Gem Mint 10, uh, sort of a mid-career card of Rose. And the 77 Top set's pretty, pretty uh, condition sensitive. It's just a pop 40 in a PSA 10. And the last sale of this card was for $5,650. It was a fairly recent sale, so you know you could say that's sort of uh, current market value. Next card here, 1958 Tops Jim Brown. This is, uh, Sorry, 1959 Tops Jim Brown. Second year card, PSA Mint 9. Uh, the tiniest bit off centering on the front is sort of the only thing that jumps out as a as an issue. But this uh, the last sale of this in a 9 went for $9,000. It's a pop 56. There are three higher uh, PSA Gem Mint 10s that exist somewhere out there on uh, on planet Earth, I assume, unless they've been shot out into space somehow. 1983 OPG Tony Gwen rookie uh, PSA Gem Mint 10, and it comes with the NBA Gold sticker, meaning it's a high eye appeal card for uh, uh, for a 10. The last sale of this card was for seventeen thousand five hundred dollars. That was sort of in uh, in the summer of 2023. And you can see there it's just a pop 34. It's his rarest and most valuable uh, rookie card, or card probably. Here's the most expensive card in the whole lot. 1962 Tops Hank Aaron, uh, mid-career card of Hank, but 62 Tops, super condition sensitive set. This is a PSA Mint 9, which is just a pop 19, and there are no 10s, so this is as good as you can get. Six-figure card here, $103,318, the last sale of a PSA 9. Next up, 1963 Tops Ken McMullen rookie. Pete Rose also on the card, gets a PSA X Mint plus 6.5, really strong eye appeal. I looked this over closely and it looks just, I mean, I couldn't tell why it would be as low as a 6.5. looks like razor sharp. It does get NBA gold sticker, meaning strong eye appeal for the grade. I think this would sell for a lot more than the last sale of $2,600 given the uh, eye appeal. You can see it's a pop 76 with about 1,500 copies higher. But yeah, the NBA gold sticker is sort of growing in credibility in the hobby. Uh, 1982 Fleer Cal Ripken Jr. Rookie, my boy Cal. It's a PSA Gem Mint 10 with a, uh, the card's autographed DNA 10 for the auto. And this is a really rare getting a 10-10 combo. This card autographed is quite common, but a 10-10 combo is just a, a pop 7. And actually, the pop 7 is only the card being a 10, so it might even be less than 7. But I could not find a recent sale uh, on, on the Ripken card there in a 10-10 combo. Uh, next up, another Jim Brown, another PSA Mint 9 Jim Brown. This is a third year, 1960 Tops. The one we saw earlier was second year 59 tops, but uh, just a pop 22 with no no 10s in existence. Uh, 60 tops football always has surface issues, so it's actually not too surprising. You see the last sale was almost two years ago, just into five figures, $10,010. And $10. I think this would go for quite a bit more than that today. Uh, Babe Ruth, 1948 Leaf PSA Pour 1. You can see it has tape along the right border there. Other than the tape, the card's extremely sharp, but yeah, I mean, you know, other than that, how is the play, Mrs. Lincoln? Uh, it gets a silver sticker from NBA, I guess meaning slightly above average eye appeal. I guess that's fair. I don't know how you deal with the tape, but that's about a $2,000 card or so in its uh, condition. Another high-grade Hank Aaron mid-career card, 1963 tops, another PSA Mint 9. Uh, the last one we saw was the 62 tops, and that was a six-figure card, if you remember. Uh, the 63, not quite as rare. It's a pop 38 with two higher. It's still, I mean, still quite rare, but the last sale of a 9 was for fifteen grand about a year ago. Sort of surprising that the 62 goes for uh, six figures, and this one only goes for 15 grand. I mean, the pop counts are off, are different, but they're not they're not like wildly different. I don't know, just something of note. Uh, 68 tops, Mickey Mantle, another PSA Mint Nine. Just look at these uh, absolute stunners. This is a second to last card for for Mantle during his playing days. It's a pop 183. There are 11 copies higher in a PSA Gem Mint 10. 68's a little easier to get in higher grade than some other sets from the 60s, and you can see it's just barely a uh, five figure card there. Next up, 1941 Playball, Ted Williams. It's a PSA 4, and I looked this card over. This card is sharp. Uh, now, it gets the exceptional eye appeal label from PWCC, so it was at one point in, with PWCC. It also gets the NBA silver sticker, so obviously a very, very strong eye appeal for the grade. You can see uh, it's about a $2,300 card, but I suspect that this particular copy would sell for you know, quite a bit more than that because of the eye appeal. 
1956 Topps Mickey Mantle. It's a PSA 5. And this would probably be my favorite Mantle card just in terms of the image. Nice profile, and he's in the, you know, catching a ball in the stands in the background. Kind of cool. Uh, it's about a $3,000 card or so. And, well, I was going to say it has very high pop counts, but that, that's really just all relative. It's uh, high pop counts compared to other cards we've seen here uh, so far. Uh, next card is a 1963 Topps Carl Ustremski. This would be his fourth year. Another PSA Mint 9. A lot of uh, Mint 9 cards here from the 1960s. And this card is a Pop 20 with only one copy graded higher. That's a very low pop count. Last sale of a PSA 9 was for $7,000 a little over a year ago. Uh, more 1948 Leaf. Now we're on to Warren Spahn. It's another PSA 4. This is a rookie. Uh, this gets the NBA Gold sticker, meaning really strong eye appeal. And you can see it's a Pop 188 with about 400 copies higher. Last PSA 4 went for 1200 another one that I think would probably sell for higher than the last sale because of the very strong eye appeal. Johnny U, 1960 Tops, Johnny Unitas. This would be a fourth year card. It's a PSA near Mint Mint 8. It's about a $1,400 card or so. And look at the really low pop count. Remember, that's a PSA 8. Pop 55, only five copies higher than an 8. for. Uh, but again, the 60 Tops football often have surface issues. Uh, no 10s exist of that, Unitas. 1969 Tops PSA uh, uh, PSA 9, Mint 9, Pete Rose. About a $2,500 card. A uh, little higher pop count when you get into the later 60s, 68 and 69 in particular. Pop 111, there are six copies of the card in a uh, Gem Mint 10 that exists somewhere on planet Earth. 1963 Tops Lou Brock. This would be a second year card of Brock. Another PSA Mint 9. And this is about a $3,700 card or so. Really low pop count again. PS, uh, pop 25 with only two copies graded uh, a PSA Gem Mint 10. The next card is the first modern card of the bunch. It's a 2015 Upper Deck Foil, Connor McDavid rookie, uh, Young Guns rookie, PSA Gem Mint 10. And it was tough to find pricing on this as uh, it's just a Pop 31 and there were not many sales and the sales were sort of weird. I couldn't I couldn't make uh, heads or tails of it. So I'm, I'm gonna guess it's about a $10,000 card, but that could be off. It could, it could very well be more than that. 1987 OPG Barry Bonds rookie. Uh, PSA Gem Mint 10, like the Tony Gwen we saw earlier, the OPGs are just a lot rarer than the tops. Uh, well, they're not, they're not super rare, but when you get into Gem Mint 10 you know, categories, they're extremely rare. You can see this one's just a Pop 39. I believe that's his rarest rookie, and it's about, you know, a five-figure card. And last card here before I show you three more uh, modern cards, 1948 Leaf, Ted Williams, PSA Pour 1. Uh, it has some, like, residue along the front there. It gets the NBA gold, silver sticker. It's about a $600 card or so in a uh, in a PSA 1. So yeah, there you go. And like I said, three very cool rare modern cards to show you. Uh, first is a 2014 Topps Heritage Real One Auto Red Ink Auto Mookie Betts Rookie graded PSA Gem in 10. It's uh, serial number out of 10. You can see in the upper left it's 02 of 10. Don't love that the red ink sort of blends into the red jersey, but I'm sort of nitpicking here on a very, very cool rare rookie auto of uh you know someone shaping up to be an all-time great the uh, last sale actually the only sale ever of a psa 10 or the only known sale ever was for 5600 back in may of 2020 that was before the price boom uh you can see it's just a pop too obviously a very rare card numbered out of 10 and only two psa 10s exist so certainly today i would expect it to go for quite a bit more than than the 5600 uh, went for back in 2020 another tops heritage real one auto this is 2018 shohei otani rookie Again, red ink auto, serial number out of just 69. It's a PSA Gem Mint 10, DNA 10 for the auto. Nice 10-10 combo there. And this card is just a pop three. Uh, the last uh, That's in a 10-10 combo. It's a pop three. The last sale was for 21000 That was early 2024. Another one, I don't, don't love that the red ink sort of blends in a little bit with the, you know, the jersey, the red jersey in the background. But if this was my card and somebody was whining about that, I'd tell them to go, you know, take a walk. And last card is this beautiful 2013 Bowman Chrome Autograph Blue Refractor Aaron Judge first Bowman Chrome card. PSA Gem Mint 10, DNA 10 for the auto, nice 10 10 combo. The card's serial numbered out of 99. And I said on the previous two cards, the, you know, the color of the ink didn't really, you know, mesh well with the background of the card. But on this card, it, it works absolutely perfectly. B uh, blue ink with the blue border and the blue jersey, just a, a beautiful color match card here. And uh, it's a, just a pop three. There's never been a sale, or that I could find, of a PSA 10. The uh, There was a BGS 10 that sold back in August of 2022. So that was before he set the homer mark. I uh, went for 12360 But today I think the PSA 10-10 combo would sell for a lot more than the, the BGS 10 did um, a couple of years ago. 
But that's it for this week's High Rollers. I hope everyone enjoyed, and thank you, David, for allowing me to showcase your collection here. Uh, until next time, eat your vegetables, and may the force be with you. Thanks, everyone.